My name is Milian Borker. I'm the VP of a company called Infinova, which also owns companies like Marsh Networks, who is involved in the financial sector, and Swan, which is mostly in the DIY sector. Infinova is a major player in basically verticals such as financial institutions, smart cities, city surveillance, infrastructure, aviation. We do a lot of work in those fields. But one of the most interesting things which has happened to us is in the last two years, we have won some several large city surveillance projects in India. And due to that, more and more people are thinking in terms of you know, IoT as to how to make it work. So we have one, for example, just day before yesterday, the first smart city project in India, which will be replicated over a period of time in about 30 different cities. We hope we get all of them, but you know, it's competitive. Now in this industry, there are other players also coming in, mostly, you know, software companies with data management, data centers, and also storage, network, plays a major role in IoT of things because basically what security today is is transmission of data, either visual or whatever, but it's at the end of the day it's just data being transmitted. And for that you require a strong network, you require bandwidth, and you require storage. Everybody talks about megapixels and high definition, but nobody talks about bandwidth and storage costs because this actually drive a project. So IoT is a good thing in a way, but it depends how people understand it and how they move forward because nobody talks about performance specs. Nobody talks about what does a client really need. Normally what people do is take a data sheet, copy paste, and then, you know, the client says, okay, this is not what I wanted. But the consultant said, this is what we wrote the specs based on his requirement because nobody does, for example, a site security, a survey, Nobody knows what's a con ops, what happens to the, in case of an alarm or an event, what do you do next? All these things are not discussed. So, it's a long way to go, but I feel that as people understand IoT more and more, it will grow up. In our case, it is already taking about 20% of our business is coming from IoT, and hopefully in the near future it will grow more. Thank you.